people that don't like mid-century architecture uh, are usually reacting to the poorly done mid-century architecture. Um, a lot of, as we as we've talked about, a lot of the school buildings have been changed so much through the years that they become bad buildings. They were once good buildings, now they're bad buildings. And as uh, as as we've mentioned that that um, there may be a hundred of one certain type, and five or ten are really good. There was so much of this modernist work done in the '60s and '70s, it caused the backlash. That, that pushed into postmodernism, and um, I think people people look at it as being cold, old, hard, um, not enjoyable. But you know, some of the houses that were done in that period that are still relevant today are some of the warmest, most enjoyable places to live. And it's whether or not one a building has been treated well, and two it was designed well to begin with and it had the thoughtful connection of story, place, and time. And those buildings uh, last for generations.